Next, let's queer up entertainment, baby. Thank God. Let me take that Elon Musk stuff <laughs> off me. Let me just take this, all this stuff. Okay, yeah. are you with me, folks? All right, let's do this. I'm with you. Candace Kane brings SNL-like diaper dolls to life to fight anti-LGBTQ plus laws. In response to ongoing legislative attacks against queer individuals, entertainment pioneers Candace Kane and Dana Davis have launched Mary. It's Mary Productions. The company is dedicated to sharing trans-centric stories infused with positivity and humor. The name Mary holds historical significance reclaimed from an anti-gay slur to a term of endearment between these two friends. Their upcoming project, Diaper Dolls, sat satirizes anti-trans bathroom bills, particularly targeting Florida's discriminatory laws. Humor, they believe, is a powerful tool against bigotry, allowing for both expression and persuasion. Watch this. What's the matter? You have no idea how frustrating it is. I've seen that sign all day long. I went to the gym, and then I had to go home. And then I went shopping, and then I had to go home. You got the bathroom bill blues? Yeah. I just wish there was an easier way that I didn't have to always go home for number one. Or number two. Have you tried Transguard? My girlfriend swears by it. A trans adult diaper that finally allows us some bathroom dignity? And it's TSA approved. <laughs> oh my God, that's hysterical. <laughs> Scheduled for release on Saturday, March 30th, Diaper Dolls is just one of their initiatives. Chaser, a trans amorous rom-com set in the 90s, aims to portray trans love stories with traditional happy endings, countering harmful stereotypes. Their broad vision includes reality series like Doctor's Orders, It's Sickening, spotlighting LGBTQ plus healthcare professionals, and documentaries such as Wilton Wins, exploring the transformation of Wilton Manors, Florida, into an LGBTQ plus haven. Kane emphasizes the importance of empathy and connection, hoping to bridge gaps between communities through shared experiences experiences. Despite challenges, she remains hopeful for a more inclusive future, recognizing art as a catalyst for progress and LGBTQ plus rights. Though Mary, it's Mary Productions, they aim to amplify trans voices and foster understanding on a broader scale. Of course, we're happy that Dana Davis is with us tonight as an anchor of Queer News Tonight. Yay. This shit is hysterical. Uh, that little part was hysterical, okay? Tell me about Transguard and who is the face of that? <laughs> like, that is funny. Well, the, the cover girl of the Transguard box, she's actually my roommate. Her name is Dana Ken, and um, she escaped from Neiman Marcus a while ago. <laughs> and um, she is plastic, but she lives with me, and, well, she kind of bullied me into having to be on the cover, so I didn't, I didn't Oh, my God. But, yeah, we're really excited about Diaper Doll. We want to deal with this issue with some humanity and yes, humor yes. And, and go at it a little more light and fun. Um, because, we need to laugh, yeah, Dana. We need to laugh, exactly. And uh, this definitely will make you laugh. I love it's that. Really I love funny. that. You know, here at Queer News Tonight, like when I first started working at Queer News Tonight, I was like, ooh, that word queer, right? Like we were slowly taking it mm, back. Yes. You know, and here you are I, doing the same. Yeah, and I, I hate the thought of um, erasing any of our queer history and our verbal, vocal you know, that, to me, that's so important. And, and I hate when I get corrected and I say, no, 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 we need to keep that word. Yeah. You know, this is, we need to remember our history, where it came from. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Diaper Dolls, I think, is going to be fantabulous. Yeah. Um, and you know something else that I'm super um, interested in? You were talking about um, the reality show. Right. Yes. About. So my wife is a nurse practitioner and some of the crazy stories, what people put in their butts, you'd oh be surprised. Yes, anyway, but sure. that I'm interested in also, like <laughs> yeah. a reality show, no like, surprise. you know, so many, um, you know, healthcare providers and, you know, healthcare people are LGBTQ plus. Like, I, I would know. love this dynamic about behind the scenes from their world. Yeah. You know, when I wrote it, I, I thought, you know, I never get to see LGBTQ plus uh, health heroes. You know, I never mm -hmm. get to see that. So that's what made me start writing.
reading it. And then um, my doctor, Dr. Constabile of Boca Dental on Wilton Drive, I, I pitched him the idea and I said, would you be the uh, dentist? And he said, yeah, do it. Let's do it. I so then I just that. kept writing. Yeah. I love that. Now yeah. you need to turn that into like three or four different series. And when you go to like Midland or Can Community, yes, and you go to exactly. these organizations that exactly. deal with LGBTQ plus people on a daily basis, right? Because they must have some great stories. Too. They do. I'm sure they do. And at Midland, my doctor is Dr. Jones. He's amazing. Oh. Yeah. I oh love that. I love that. So you're doing a it'd lot. Be, it'd be very interesting. You also have show. the Trans Day of Visibility that we were talking about also yes. on, and that's going to be on Saturday, right? Yeah. Yes. So you've got a lot going on, girl. How'd you yes. find the time to be at the table with just us? Oh my God. Well, you guys are so thoughtful and <laughs> intelligent. I'm kind of taken back. I'm very impressed. Uh, yes. And thank you for, and oh, can I just say one thing? Please, sorry. Dana, please, please, please. Okay. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I've been trying to say oh that. Oh my God, I love you know, it. You are a really inspiration to the community. Oh, and thank uh, you. congratulations on um, everything that thank is golden you. that's going thank for you. you. And I, I think it's very well deserved. Oh my God. Well, right yeah. back at you. And, you know, I, I know that you are usually like behind the scenes, like I supporting am. folks, I, I am. writing these things, yeah. producing these yeah. things. And, you know, the, the fact that you allowed us to, you know, be with us at this table you know i know that it's not like your normal thing <laughs> and you're like i'll do it okay but yeah. i mean it's you're beautiful you're gorgeous you're, you're also representation you. yes you know? i just want to make contacts contents yeah that is you know for us and for everyone else you know yes. and and make them understand uh our gorgeous humor <laughs> and and trans humor is some of the funniest humor around it you is. know mm -hmm. and uh, it needs to be celebrated and, and, be. and if i can get young people that want to be involved in all these projects uh, and everyone of color and that that is amazing to yeah. me you and that's know? how you get them is through comedy yes. folks mm -hmm. yes. i mean think about it right like yes. if it's something that you don't understand or you're not educated on this is a great way this right this girl right here on screen she is amazing <laughs> her name is jocelyn with the trans guard jocelyn <laughs> flawless and she is one of our trans guard correspondents i now. love that i love that and yeah. you could take it through tsa Yes, it's here to stay approved. Yeah, yeah, for those long trips. Oh, I love that, Tana. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us Thanks today. So We're not done with the show, me. folks, but I just want to say thank you to her. You know, yeah. like I don't get to have like other really strong women around all the this time because I hang out with all gay boys, right? <laughs> so every once in a while, when we get a girl at the table, I'm like, yes, you oh know. God, so women power, you're amazing. Yeah. Anything you're doing, we want to help. No manners. I love it. Give it up to No Manners yes. for also being no like Manners a great place amazing. to do this. You yes, know? it's true. Steve, oh, uh, the owner, is you know? fabulous. And the staff is incredible. And the staff. And, and you know, a shout out to No Manners. And, and also, they like, just they're... hired a trans uh, waitress, cocktail waitress. So I'm really happy about that. Is that you? No, no, no. Oh, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> She's I like, can't. on my off time, <laughs> like 9 a.m. to 9.15, no, I've decided I'm to go help them by waitressing. You know? She's like, taking I'm notes for her next series. I'm like, she does it all. So I was like, you know. It's nice to see that, though, in their club, that they have a yes. trans uh, cocktail waitress. Listen, no Manners also does a girl, a lesbian night yes, as well. They More do. places on, on Thursdays, the driver right. doing that. So, they should. You know, inclusivity they should. is important. And I love that yeah. the gay boys are watching the girls and saying, come on yes. over. You can party with us or you can use our yeah. Yes. Hey, I've been to a great lesbian party at the Eagle. Amazing. Take that in, Amazing. okay? At yes. the Eagle. All right, well, <laughs> follow Dana on all social media. We'll be definitely watching her to see whatever she's doing. And because look at the outfit, girl. Oh, you better not turn around. I'll steal that jacket. I'm just saying, I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs>